Jeff Morrow with your first alert forecast. Some districts already back, others heading back to school for tomorrow. Make sure to pack the rain gear for the kids. They're not going to need it for when they head to school. It's when they are headed home that we do have a rain likely chance right at that three o'clock drop off time. You can see temperatures will be chilly to start, so make sure they have a jacket for the morning bus stop, but they're going to need the rain jacket for the afternoon drop off as temperatures are expected to be in the 60s. They'll be warm, but we're also going to have that rain threat. So for Friday afternoon and evening, it's a marginal risk of excessive rainfall, meaning we have a low end threat for maybe seeing some flooding concerns. One out of four on the threat scale, but we're talking about localized nuisance types. So standing water in low lying, poorly drained areas. Most commonly, that's roads, that's ditches, that's streams, that's bayous. Flood watch unlikely across the local area, but it's these localized bullseyes of one to two inches of rain that could fall in a very short amount of time and kind of inundate drainage systems that we're most concerned about. The heaviest of the rain late afternoon in that three, four o'clock hour ending by Friday night. So this is going to be a quick move. Move. We're in and out of here pretty quickly. Let's show you that here with Futurecast. Start you out 6 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. So we fast forward Futurecast into tomorrow. Clouds are going to be with us in the morning hours. We'll stay dry. Dry through lunchtime too for a good chunk of our viewing area. Western corner of our viewing area starting to see the rains move in. For Metro Baton Rouge impacting us right around that 3 o'clock hour. Certainly delivering some wet slick streets for the evening commute. But by the time we get to that point, notice here 630. Things are already starting to move off towards the east. Last remaining remaining rain starting to push in so the evening drive may not have the visibility issues with heavy rainfall, but we'll have the impacts of maybe some ponding on the roadways to have to contend with. As we go deeper into the night, things begin to dry out and it's going to be a dry weekend ahead. Saturday and Sunday, no weather issues other than cloudy skies, but temperatures expected to be near normal. So you see where we're going to have some spots uh, over an inch of rainfall. Others though, and on average, less than an inch of rain. That's in large part because of how quickly the system is going to be moving through, so it's where the heavy rain pockets develop and where they fall as to who's going to have the biggest issues in terms of the potential of some localized flood concerns. Then our focus and our attention turns to Monday of next week as we have not only a flood threat, but also a severe weather threat with the next system that's going to be impacting us. So the flood threats at two out of four, severe weather threat at two out of five. In terms of the threats, what we're going to be watching for damaging wind being the primary concern and then once again localized flood concerns as we compound these rain events over the last couple of days. Isolated tornado can't be completely ruled out, even some hail potential, but bottom line, it's a wind and a flood threat as we look towards Monday. So here we are Monday morning with future cash. You can see during the morning hours, things are pretty quiet, but then as we go towards the afternoon, thunderstorms really start to move in. Big reason why we're expecting thunderstorms with Monday as opposed to Friday, the track of the low. For Friday, the low tracks along the coast. For Monday, the low tracks towards the north. That brings us into the warm sector of this storm system, meaning instability will be greater energy for showers and thunderstorms to develop. We're lingering rains into Tuesday morning. Some models suggesting we still could see some thunderstorm action overnight, but right now the Europeans suggesting all that exits out pretty quickly. And then by the time we get towards Tuesday afternoon, improving weather conditions. So a look at the Weather Prediction Center's estimate for rainfall over the next five days. This takes into account our next two rainmakers. There's still upwards of two to four inches of rain across our viewing area. And keeping in mind, I think we're going to average less than an inch of rainfall on Friday tomorrow. So maybe a majority of this could be for our Monday storm system that we'll be having to keep a very close eye on in the coming days. So first alert weather days for tomorrow. Timing of the rain is not great. Going to be impacting not only drop off for the kids at school, but also your evening drive potentially. But it's going to be a dry weekend. Enjoy your outdoor plans for Saturday and Sunday. And then for Monday, the afternoon and evening, we'll have to dodge maybe one or two strong, possibly severe storms. Again, damaging wind and localized flooding are biggest concern. Rain lingers into early Tuesday. We start to cool things down once again and then we rapidly warm up as we head towards the end of the week with yet a third system could be heading our way but model uncertainty remains with that.